Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to replace Duo with Microsoft Multi-Factor Authentication. In order to do this, the first step that you have to take is that you have to make sure that you go to the email with the information provided in order to replace Duo with Microsoft Multi-Factor Authentication. Now in this email, you will find a link that you are going to be able to use in order to do the transition. So the first thing that we're gonna go ahead and do is that we're gonna go ahead and click on this link. Once we have clicked on this link, we're gonna go ahead and we are going to sign out, sign in. Once we sign into our page, we're gonna go ahead and put in our credentials and once again, sign in. We are still using the Duo. If we still have the Duo, I've already set it up so I don't have it anymore. Now I'm gonna be doing it with the approved sign-in request we, with the authentication. So it's a whole different uh, method but you will still be using the Duo if you have not set it up yet. Eventually, it will take you to that step later on. Now, this will be the next page that I will bring you to, and it will allow you to authenticate through two different means. You're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to be notified through the app, all right, because you're going to be downloading the app on your phone, just like if you had the Duo app also previously. So in order to do this, the first is you're going to check off here where it says authentication phone, and you're going to add your phone number. And you're also gonna click on the little arrow here where it says authenticator app or token. And you wanna make sure that you click here on setup authenticator app. When you click on this, it's gonna give you this little screen. So the first thing you need to do is follow this step. Number one, you have to either download this for if you have an Android phone or you have an iPhone, you're gonna to have to first download the app. The name of the app is Microsoft Authenticator. Once you've downloaded that app, you're gonna go ahead and in the app, you're gonna click on choose work or school account. So in the app, you're gonna choose this option. It will say work or school account. And then it will allow you to scan the code that is on this page. And you have to make sure that you scan the code that is given to you because each code is unique. So this code would be just for me. Once you have done that, you're gonna click on next and it will give you the following instructions and it will set up the account. I've already set up my phone, as you can see, but all of this process to finish the authentication will be done through an approval that just like the Duo is sent to your phone. So once that is done, you can click on next and you can go ahead and finish with your authentication. Once you're done, you're gonna click on save here at the bottom. Again, I'm finished with this. So for me, I already have my authenticator app on my iPhone too, as you can see down here. So when you're all finished, you're gonna click on save and it would allow you to save those settings. And now instead of using Duo, you're gonna actually be using the new Microsoft authentication program, the new app. So again, it will look blue. It will be a new app um, that you will be using on your phone. And now you can go ahead and you can replace that Duo app. So don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please let me know.